Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we will talk. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on what. to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon Aurora again. We believed ourselves to be ready. We believed we would be safe when it returned. But no one is truly safe anymore. I watched through a window as my neighbors were torn out of their homes by those creatures. That they operate in darkness is a blessing, for I could not see what was done to them, only hear their screams and the crawler's laughter. And then they came to my house. The walls trembled, the floor shook. I was certain this was to be my last day, and surely it would have been had dawn not begun to break. We are not ready for its return. I will never be ready. You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways. Wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. My wife and my daughter. You are taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Reina and Bale, you are in my thoughts. You are in a better place now, my love. For no place can be as troubled as our city has become. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed when I sleep, and I hear your voice in my dreams. Stay with me, always. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan, the King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? 
until about four years ago. He too faced the crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise that he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn. I promise. Then let us go to war. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. Here for you. There are gifts for you to open. That appears to be all of the gifts. You've a new type of gauntlet available. How is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry. He's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. <coughs> Walter? Oh, balls to you all. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told you. Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the king Albion needs. So come on, it's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. <laughs> 